I got a CI belly aching interrogation too that I gotta go deal with. Let's go see you back up on your feet, Howard. It's good to be back on my feet, pain. It ain't easy doing damn near anything with one eye. Whatever needed to get done, I done done it. Y'all doing me wrong. Scrap could put us all the way forever. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're gonna to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2. Is Scrappy's mom a rat? That is the topic of discussion. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. I want you guys to let me know exactly how y'all think this is gonna play out in this next upcoming episode because we know Scrappy will be questioned by Marvin and it ain't gonna be a pretty conversation, so I cannot wait to talk about it. Now you guys, make sure you checked out my last video. I dropped the Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2, Episode 2, What to Expect video. We're gonna continue to get ready for this next upcoming episode. I got a feeling it's about to get real spicy in this next episode. Your boy Scrappy, he gonna be questioned, and based off that trailer, your boy Scrappy is gonna be upset, and he's gonna question whether he should probably even be dealing with them in the first place, talking about he's done so much for them, he was willing to do whatever it takes, and it seems like, you know, it's getting to him, especially after being questioned about being a rat. Y'all know he ain't having it. Now, let's go back to the last episode. Scrappy was already told by Rock, stop gambling, stop the card games at your mom's spot, just stop all of it, right? But he didn't want to listen. He continued to do exactly what he wanted to do, and when you do too much of anything in life, most likely it's going to be bad for you. So Scrappy learned the hard way, right? Now, during this arrest, we heard Scrappy's mom running her mouth. One of the main things she said, does Detective Payne know y'all here? That's what she told him, right? And then she said, where is Detective Payne? So it's quite obvious she has a relationship with this Detective Payne, right? And, you know, maybe she's worked with them in the past, or whatever. But we know just from that scene right there that she knows who detective pang is and he knows exactly who she is now when we saw detective howard go into the police station he had a conversation with detective pang and detective pang said he got a ci in there babbling at the mouth right who else was babbling now we know scrappy was upset he was talking but his mom she was running her mouth a lot right and it makes sense that it is scrappy's mom that is the ci I mean, you can just tell from her knowing his name, the way she was talking, she was very confident, right? Like Detective Payne was going to look out for her or whatever, like she's talked to him in the past or whatever before. So that's why it makes sense that it is her. Now, Detective Howard, when he heard about this, he was just looking like, really? I can't believe this. I mean, just think about it. This dude, he knows who Scrappy is. He knows Scrappy is connected to Rock. And he knows this could be a problem for her. Hell, if Scrappy is connected to a snitch or is a part of anything like this, you know, this could mean some bad news for Kanan as well. So we know him and Rock will have a conversation in episode two about this information. We know this because of the trailer and, of course, the description states that they're going to learn about a snitch. And the only person that Rock is talking to that's connected to law enforcement that we know is Detective Howard. Now, I want to see this conversation. I want to know how Detective Howard will talk to Rock. Now, everybody says that he's forgotten everything that happened that night, right? So, this conversation is very important because I want to know how he's going to approach her and, you know, tell her this information. A lot of people say he shouldn't be telling her anything, especially after what happened. Well, we're going to see. Based on what we saw in episode one, Detective Howard, to me, he showed me signs that he definitely did not forget. So, this is why I want to know if he's going to come out and say it or, you know, what's really going on in his head. We know in these trailers we've been seeing, Detective Howard still wants to talk to Kanan. And based on what Rock is talking about, he will still be a problem, which she will be telling Kanan most likely in the next episode. Now, also in the next episode, Rock will be having a conversation with Marvin about Scrappy because she knows Scrappy has enough information, enough intel to put Rock and her organization away forever. I mean, that's what she's saying in the trailer right so she knows scrappy is a threat and she needs him to be handled quickly and we know marvin will go and have that conversation with scrappy to address all of these snitching rumors which we know at the end of the day is not going to be a pretty conversation right because 
Scrappy, he feels like he's been loyal since day one. He has, you know, pretty much lost the eye doing work for Rock. And it's difficult for him to have this conversation about being loyal, about, you know, snitching or whatever. Because he knows deep down inside, he ain't no damn snitch. I don't think Scrappy is a snitch. This dude is loyal. And he's like family, right? And if it is a problem, which it is going to be a problem with his mother, it's going to have to be addressed very, very quickly. The question is, how will they deal with his mother? Who will deal with his mother? I mean, they could tell Scrappy he needs to handle this because if he doesn't, he knows what's going to happen, right? Now, we know CIs, snitches, they don't last in power. Just ask Omar. Just ask bitch-ass Dre. Just ask Tony the Rat Terezi, right? Ask those people. Hell, ask Mecca the goat of global snitching how this stuff ends. Do y'all think it's going to end any differently for Scrappy and his mother? Because it's not going to end any differently. Some say that body that Kanan and Rock is burying most likely could be Scrappy or his mother, but they definitely putting somebody away, man. And Scrappy, he's in a tough situation because that's his mom's. At the end of the day, he don't want nothing happening to his mom's at all, but we don't know what his mom knows, and we don't know how dangerous his mom can be. And knowing Rock, she's not about to take that risk. If his mom is an issue, she has to be taken care of quickly because y'all getting in too deep. Your boy Omar Epps know all about that. Ain't no way in the hell Rock is about to allow this girl to be living and to be a potential threat for her, her organization, and her family. It's just not about to happen. So hopefully Scrappy can be okay. But the way it's looking, y'all, it ain't looking too good. I'm going to put it like that. It's just not looking too good for your boy Scrappy. It's, it's, it's crazy because he's so loyal. And I guess everybody does have a weakness. Scrappy's weakness was gambling with the cards and all that stuff. But his mom being the CI, phew, that's a whole nother story, man. So we're going to find out exactly what's going to happen in this next upcoming episode. You guys, you let me know. How do y'all see this all playing out? Do y'all believe Scrappy's mom is a snitch, is a CI? I mean, based on the information we got from episode one, it's definitely looking like that. And I don't see it ending any, you know, good for any of them. But that's just my opinion. Now, we will continue to talk about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2 this week. I want you guys to stay tuned for some more of these videos. We will be breaking down that this season trailer that I dropped over the weekend. They released it uh, yesterday on Star. So we're going to break that down and go over that because there's some things in that trailer that we got to talk about. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all in the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.